Hello and welcome to Complete Car. We've been in Tenerife to drive the new Mercedes-Benz C-Class. C-Class needed to improve in some areas, mainly in terms of its pretty shoddy interior and the engines might have been more fuel efficient. So have Mercedes completed the job? Well, there have been plenty of changes to the C-Class with Mercedes-Benz being very proud of the 2,000 new parts used. We didn't count them, but you will notice things like a new front bumper, LED daytime running lamps in the bumper, a new radiator grille, new air intakes and an aluminium bonnet, which has been added to reduce weight. There are changes at the rear too, with changes to the rear bumper. Inside the interior has been greatly improved, which was a weak area for the C-Class up until now. There has been a restyled dashboard and there are much better materials used than before. There are new instruments, new air vents and there are new steering wheels too. There are also new leather and trim options throughout the various grades. The C-Class always has and probably will feel like a very different car to the BMW 3 Series or Audi A4 and it is certainly positioned more towards comfort in much of its guises. The C220 CDI which we were driving was just that and it was twinned with a new 7-speed automatic gearbox. The 220 is a 4 cylinder 2.2 litre with 170 horsepower and 400 newton metres of torque. And while it doesn't feel massively fast, with 0 to 100 kilometres per hour taking 8.1 seconds, and it is probably the best engine to choose. Although most buyers are likely to opt for the C200 CDI, which has 136 horsepower and 360 newton metres of torque. Both of these engines, when fitted with an automatic transmission, are in band B in terms of emissions. We also tried the 250BE petrol model in an estate and it was a great engine although likely to be ignored by Irish buyers on both counts. The 250 is a 4 cylinder petrol and it puts out 204 horsepower yet has emissions as low as 150 grams per kilometre. If your budget allows and if you're brave enough to choose a petrol engine then this is the engine to buy. However most will choose a diesel and if you do want a little bit more power then there is a 250 CDI available. It is still a four cylinder yet puts out the same horsepower as its petrol equivalent at 204 horsepower, yet lots more torque at 500 newton meters. Emissions are still in band B. The new Eco start stop function works really well and is seamless and one of the smoothest of the systems of its kind we have tried. All models now get leather upholstery, 16 inch alloy wheels, air conditioning and the basic model the C180 costs from 35,055 euro with a C200 CDI costing from €36,350. There are, as you might expect, an endless amount of optional extras you can add depending on the size of your wallet. The new car goes on sale in Ireland in April. It will be available in standard, elegant and avant-garde trims. In summary, the C-Class will perhaps never again sell in the large numbers that it used to do in Ireland because of the relatively low cost of the E-Class, but this new version has addressed some of the inadequacies of the last one and it now feels much more worthy of the badge.